Carla. Who are this you? Fancy. How is life post vibe? Life post vibe. Um, life post vibe is good. You know, there's this, there's this weird sort of like almost afterlifey element to it. I feel like I've died and like gone to heaven and transcended my body and become this completely other resurrected person. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think this school kind of feels that way too. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Now that he's given up his powers, is that going to affect how he feels about other meta humans? Damn, that's a good question. I hadn't even thought about that. Probably. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> now that he's given up his powers, how is that going to change his relationship with Killer Frost? Um, well, I actually, uh, uh, Daniel and I shot a, a scene recently that, uh, that I really loved, um, which is, you know, I think, uh, I don't know if I'm at liberty to talk about this, probably not, but, um, so... What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Well, they're probably firing me. Or, no! <laughs> make sure I never work in this town again. <laughs> um, but I think that Peter Frost, you know, I think, you know... Killer Frost gets sidelined a lot. She like, like lives in, in the back layers of, of Caitlyn's consciousness. You know what I mean? So I think you know she 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 has an interest in like coming out and sort of like exploring her life, you know, a little bit more. And uh, it's just been really interest, interesting recently exploring the difference between Cisco's relationship with Caitlyn and the relationship with Killer Frost. You know, because yeah. I think you know whereas whereas he might expect Caitlyn to come out in that body, you know what I mean? It's a completely different person. And I think that maybe throws up for a loop a little bit. But anyway, long story short, we shot this scene recently. That's definitely an exploration of that, kind of, of that relationship. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. We played with some really nice covers. Okay, great. Even though, uh, <laughs> even though you're not vibe, do you still get to come out to play for Crisis on Infinite Earths? Yes. Yes. There will definitely be San Francisco playtime uh, in Crisis on Infinite Earths, pending contractual negotiations. And uh, speaking of contractual negotiations, uh, are you still working at Star Labs, or is that like over yeah, and done here, with? Right? Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So superpowers is not a requirement to be there. No, and that's a big part of I think our message, right? Is you don't have to have superpowers to be a valuable member of the team, right? You have you can have human superpowers. So do we have uh, new gadgets, new weapons uh, made by... We have two new suits. suits. Two new suits. Yeah. For? For Flash and Killer Frost. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be great. So no chance of Ramon Industries happening. No, no what? Chance of Ramon Industries happening. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. That would be kind of cool. Is there going to be like a great period where this both maybe wants to use his powers and remembers that he made the decision or just kind of just fluidly just happy not to happen? All I can say is that Cisco's really happy not having his powers. As to whether that attitude will stick around, I don't know. How's Cisco's uh, relationship with the girlfriend going in season it's, six? It's going great. You know, one, one thing I've loved about uh, Cisco's romantic trajectory is that every love interest that he's had has been kind of different. You know what I mean? And yeah. So it's it's an interesting chance to like explore different colors of relationships. You know what I mean? Like depending on the person you're with, you have a different relationship. You have a different energy. You know, and you complement each other in a different way based on who you know who the other person is. Right? I think. You know, Camilla sort of has a different, she just has a different energy than, you know, than Gypsy had or than, uh, you know, Caitlyn's character, like she's Lisa Snart going on. I remember. Sorry, so I'm getting old. I'm one, of, <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite uh, parts about Cisco's character is, is the banter with other people. Do yeah. you have any uh, particular lines from, from this new season that, uh, that you can share that you've enjoyed the most? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Something that I've that I've really liked doing lately is uh, doing the air horn sound. <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. So I, I tried to incorporate it in, in one of the scenes in the first episode of season six. Whether it'll make it in, I can't tell. But that's definitely something. Did I it make the rest of the crew laugh at least? Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, well that's sure. 
<laughs> so I know you can't tell us who the new big bad is, but does Cisco get to give the new the big bad its trademark name, or is that um, some other one? Um, can't say. Can't say. Can't say. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.